In this video, I will show you how to create a multilingual term base in DejaVu X3. I will also show you how to import terminology from an Excel file. But first, let's have a look at the Excel file that we are going to use. It's uh, the same that I have been using in a recent video that I made about MemoQ 2014 release 2. And if you are interested in this video, I have included a link in the description below. The first thing we have to note about this Excel file is that it is in the XLSX format, which is the new Excel format. And unfortunately, this format is not supported by Deja Vu. So the first thing we have to do is save this file in the older format. So I'll choose here XLS, which is the old Excel format, and save. Now I'll switch to Deja Vu. And in the Start menu, I'll click on Term Base and Term Base again. I need to tell Deja Vu where I want to store my new term base, so I'll browse. And I will create a new folder that I will call dvtbs. And I will call my term base Sunto. Save. And next. Next, we need to, to choose what template we want to use for this new term base. There are about a dozen different templates available, but since we want to keep things simple, uh, we'll take the minimal template. Close. Now I'll click on external data here and Excel. My Excel file is located in my documents. It's uh, this one here. Open and next. Strangely enough, uh, you can see that uh, those terms that contain special characters like uh, the French accents or in Swedish uh, the letters with umlaut, they are not correctly displayed. So I don't know why there are some Asian characters instead of the correct characters. But we will just ignore this for the time being. I click on next. Now for the first field, which is English, I need to tell Deja Vu that I want to import it as, I'll choose translation. And uh, for the language, I'll choose English United Kingdom. And uh, for the encoding, I'll choose Unicode. When I'm not sure about things, I usually select Unicode. It's a good choice overall. Next, French. I want to import it again as translation and this time it's French here. And uh, for some reason I'm offered Japanese as the encoding, but again I'll select Unicode. And now you can see my accents are correctly displayed here. Next, finish, import as, again translation. This is now Finish and for encoding again Unicode. Okay, and now we only have Swedish left. Import as again translation and Swedish again. I'm offered Japanese, but I'll select Unicode. So now I should be ready to go. Next and next. Okay, the wizard successfully imported seven segments, close. And I can check that backlight is in Swedish, backgrounds belusning, in French retro éclairage, and in Finnish tausta valo. Exercise, exercise, hariotus training. Okay, it looks uh, okay. So there you have it, how to create a multilingual term base in Deja Vu and how to import terminology from an Excel file into it. Thank you for watching. If you feel like being awesome, give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel for more similar content and see you in the next video.